All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 7th of November, election day. Time for you folks to get out there and vote. Well, by the time you're getting this, your voting's going to be over. So, you know, <clears throat> if you didn't vote, you're just going to let all those other people decide for you all these important things. Well, you know, the amendment's really hard to understand. We had all, our day yesterday in the story. We went through the amendments that uh, we're voting on, and I still don't know if I voted correctly on them. Anyways, uh, we've got more important things to do here at the Wine Watch than vote for presidents and senators and things like that. We've got great wines to drink, so on election day, we a wine tasting, of course. Washington State wines, we've got a killer lineup this week. Jed Steele, one of the biggest dinners we do all week, all year, Cafe Max, tomorrow night. And then we got our vintage port tasting on Friday night and a lot of great stuff to finish up the month of November. And hey, check it out, man. We've got one event in December, Cristal. Cristal dinner at Cafe Max. We're going to be drinking Cristal and Cristal Rosé. Man, there's nothing like drinking Cristal in one hand and Cristal Rosé in the other. All right, well, maybe cracking open a great bottle of wine like Concrete Anthology at half the regular price. Hey, is this Deja Vu Day at Wine Watch? Didn't we just send this out? Well, yes, we did. Not just send out, but a little over a month ago, two months ago, we sent out this 2008 Concrete Anthology, and uh, this is one of the landmark wines of the Napa Valley. Robert Parker called the 1974 a Napa Valley classic. The rest was off and running, and uh, Bill and Kathy Collins, the founders of this winery in the late 60s, one of the uh, you know first wineries uh, to bring upon the renaissance of Napa Valley in the 70s. These guys have produ been producing some of the best Cabernet blends coming out of California, Napa Valley. Mike McGrath, the winemaker, <clears throat> has been there for several decades. And uh, this wine is all about the art of blending. When you look at Anthology, it's a blend of several different varietals. You have a this year 66% Cabernet Sauvignon from nine different AVAs, American Viticultural Areas in Napa Valley. There are now 16 AVAs, 12% Malbec, 11% Merlot, 7% Petit Verdot, and 4% Cabernet Franc. This one is all about elegance and what you can achieve through the layers of blending. Different AVAs, different varietals, really elegant bouquet here with notes of that milk chocolate you get from the oak, current dark cherry fruits, notes of earth and spice here showing up as well, lovely complexity on the nose, a smooth and silky Cabernet on the palate. This wine doesn't really hit you over the head with the oak and with the alcohol. It has a lot of balance, a lot of finesse. And uh, you get a little bit of that earthy, gravelly, minerally note uh, you get from Bordeaux in this wine. And like I said, just a lovely wine with balance and elegance and finesse and a long finish. I'd like to try this wine 10 years from now. You know, probably could keep it 20, but uh, California wine is all about fruit. Usually, you want to drink wines in their first 10 years of life if you like California wines because the fruit starts to fade in these wines uh, after 10 or 15 years. So the Anthology 2008, a very good vintage in Napa. You know, they only have one or two bad vintages every decade here. 2007, 2008, 2009, three very good vintages in a row. Uh, maybe 2008 would be considered the lesser of the three by some of the critics, wine advocates. Uh, Antonio Galloni, but uh, the better wines from 2008, I think, are outstanding, like this anthology. And we've got a lovely uh, uh, history of the winery here and some information, uh, other great information, and some great stuff on the What I Drank Yesterday part of our email today. Check it out. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.